Hey guys, welcome back. Chef Ricardo doing a random show. You know, I tried doing this show early, but I actually forgot to record it for you guys, so I'm doing it all over again. So I hope you guys enjoyed all that snow we've been having here in New England. Like I was saying in the other thing, I, I actually fell on my way to the chiropractor, which is kind of funny. I know Ken, my friend Ken out there is laughing because that happened. So this show is all about nice nutty treats, spicy treats that are not nuts. So someone asked me about nut allergies. Hey, you know, is there something someone else could have if I'm throwing a party, you know, that's not nut related? Well, this is a nice little snack I come up with, made with uh, chickpeas. I got two cans in here. I drained them. Or if you want to use dried ones, get two cups overnight, throw them in water, let them soak, and then the next day you can use it. But can for now, not the greatest choice, but as long as they're low sodium, it's not too bad. So I got those right here. And this is all stuff you're going to have at home, pretty much anyways. At least I know I do. I know I'm a chef, but that, that doesn't mean anything. I know you guys probably do too. So I'm gonna start with some cayenne. And we're gonna do half a teaspoon. Nice little spicy cayenne. You can do a little more if you want. Spicy now, but let's go with the basics for now. Let's cover this all up. All right, same thing now. Equal amounts, a half of cumin. Nice smokier. Spicier there. Spread it out evenly, just like that. And right now I got some chili powder. What I'm gonna do is kind of eyeball this half. Okay, perfect. Now we got a tablespoon measure here. Extra virgin olive oil. If you didn't have olive oil, you I mean canola or something's fine. I like the flavor that um, uh, extra virgin olive oil gives. Spread it out nice and evenly. That's one. And one more time. And two. Awesome. That's one. Now, what I like to go with spicy, sweet, always a great combination. I've got some real maple syrup here. We're going to do half a teaspoon. But this isn't uh, not the fake stuff that you get in those certain plastic bottles that are corn syrup with a little bit of flavoring in them. I'm talking about the real stuff here. Yes, it's going to cost you a little bit more, but trust me, it's worth it. All right, so we got that all together. Need something to stir the sucker with, so I'm going to my pan over here and get it nice, evenly coated. Don't go too hard. We don't want to crush them. You, know, you just want to kind of stir them, get them nice and coated. Now what we're going to do, I got the oven preheated at 400 degrees. It's already on. It's already preheated. Keep that like that. Grab the, one of those tin foil sheets you grab. Those are, I love working with those because it's so much easier. Or if you got a parchment, that'll work too. Don't use wax paper because you don't want to use wax paper in anything over like 350. So we got that lined up here. Some foil. This is just oh, it's jumping out on me. Some nice cooking spray here. Look at that, I'm tearing the place apart already. This is my bulldog Matilda. I don't think you can see her. She's at my feet. She's hoping something falls. But she can keep hoping. Alright, in here. Just like that. To the sink. Now we want to spread it out evenly. Everything's evenly coated. I don't want anything to burn underneath or not cook or whatnot. This is going to take about a half hour to 40 minutes. We want to keep your eye on it. So it's got a nice cr crunch to it. And that's even, just like that, as you can see. In there, so I don't want in here, right? So I'm gonna need the bit. All right, so we want to set this on the middle rack. So on the middle rack, and I got one I made earlier for you guys, so Matilda. And there you have it. it. Comes out nice and dark, nice nutty texture. Perfect. Okay, you can have one here. Hey, go girl. Good girl. So. That's pretty much it. Hey guys, keep that advice coming. Something you want to know about. My new website's coming out soon. It's under construction. Probably in a couple, about another week or so. It's so chefricardocosta.com. It's going to have all the demos where I'm going to be at, all the services I offer, uh, guest appearances, everything that's going on, So um, and some of the show links. So keep your eye out for that. And I'm going to be posting some more random videos on here and on YouTube. So you got some more advice for me, a recipe for me. Bring it on down. Talk to you guys later. See ya.
Quanto é? 